on what is Ward Prowse's 100th straight Premier League appearance for Saints. He is, as I've said many times, indefatigable and irreplaceable at the moment in Southampton for this team, James Ward Prowse. But they face the biggest challenge of all in football getting the ball off Manchester City at the Etihad. had. Here comes the free kick, a couple of yards in from touch, in front of us, midway inside the City half. Ward Prowse's right foot will bend it into the danger area, it goes past everyone oh, and Edison what has a to good save it. Adam. There's an offside flag up anyway, I think, but the delivery beat everybody and Edison in the end scrambled it over the bar as it bounced down in front of him. And when you have free kicks from the side, uh, and I, I always think if you can kick in the in-swingers, if they can go inside the back post and be inside, uh, you always create a chance. And, and uh, that was close, just a little flick there and they would have gone yeah. in. Walker and Silva on halfway, and then Walker feeds it inside to Fernandinho. That's a great ball for Fernandinho to Sterling. 20 yards out, turns it inside. Gundogan trying to get there. He was just shoved off it by Livramento, who tucked in nicely from right back and followed his run. And McCarthy dives on the ball and the danger's over, but that's as incisive as City has been in the first 17 minutes, Joe, I'd say. 11 goals City have scored in the Premier League, 10 different goal scorers. Silver with the winner at Leicester, Grealish on the left wing. Scored against Saints last year at Villa Park, of course, in that 4-3 thriller that Southampton won. Here's Sterling, got the winner against Saints last year at St Mary's. Now Walker from the right, crosses to the back post, it was the perfect cross. Gundogan got underneath it, didn't get on top of it. Ralph Hasnoodle turns to his bench and screams because he's disappointed that Gundogan drifted in there and was basically unmarked at the back post, Joe. He Goal kick. was, he was. And the, if you have Bedmark and uh, Jack Stevenson, you would expect them to win most of the headers in there. And th this is the positioning play that they need to be so accurate with because... Uh, City, when they, they transfer transfer the ball from one side to the other, they stay in their position, they let the ball do their work. So Grealish out on the right wing, the corner was taken short by City, Gundogan back to Grealish, they can't let him line a shot up, he squares it, 20 yards out, Fernandinho dinks one to the back stick, Hazing sets it wide, couldn't get over it, goal kick Southampton, we are four minutes plus stoppage time from half-time, and I don't know about you at home, but boy, do we need Southampton to get to half-time nil-nil. For me, that's a massive achievement in itself. And then they can regroup and try and work out a plan B to adjust to City in the second half. But got to get to the interval now, Joe. Yeah. But Intact. I, I, got to. I, I think we are, Adam. I think uh, it, it, there isn't a big chance. There's just good pressure, good play by City. And they, they get to good positions, but we seem to be dealing with it. And, and it's not panicky yet. And, yeah. and that's a good sight. Yeah, it is. Good ball from Walker for Sterling, who's on that right-hand side again. Comes inside, he's got Grealish, dummies it terrifically to Jesus, edge of the box, shoots, scoops it over, no deflection. Cancelo complains to him that he should have had a ball on the overlap on his outside, but it's a goal kick to Saints. And, and, and this is where Livermento needs to stay in this position. He goes in to tackle in the middle, misses the tackle, and that sets... Um, Jesus, uh, Jesus uh, in, uh, in a free position to shoot and, uh, and, and he needs to say that's not his job to get in the middle when he's a, he's a right back and it's given away by City again and Bednarek got it to Romeo. now Adam Armstrong just over halfway Silva rushes back to try and stop him but he finds Walker Peters midway inside the City half ahead of him Redmond again Redmond pulls oh, it back towards the edge the of the box in. and it's just behind Armstrong again he went this time for the early ball and it's given away by City Livermento skips past Gundogan Oh, and then a solid, solid challenge from João Cancelo. Who takes it off the young English defender. And, and that well, was a shame, because had he taken Cancelo up and lined him up, he could have shot. Now, that's given away. Good tackle by Romeo. Falls for Adams. Adams into the box on the right. Low shot across oh. the six-yard area. Safe for Edison, but that's oh. good play from Southampton. Oh, very good play. And again, Bedmark starts this by breaking in front of uh, Hesses. And, and, and that was close. That it maybe yeah. could have on the lip bit further take the ball by the horns take the initiative make the moment happen and uh, Ralph Harton was calling back Nathan Teller here I think he might be coming on but Kevin De Bruyne is coming on now caught in possession again he's Carl Walker by Redmond Armstrong 20 yards out goes inside Diaz Armstrong as he already he's fouled surely penalty penalty. 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 penalty penalty John Moss gives and the Saints fans go crazy behind that goal I don't know why Diaz is complaining that I mean Armstrong's trying penalty. to pull the trigger and he just gets smashed to the floor and it's this an is, obvious penalty and again Redmond does what Elanusi does goes forward before the pass is gone now is it, is it a yellow or a red 
it's a red card. It, it has to be a red uh, card. Well, I've yeah, seen red. a yellow come out. It has to be a yellow. I think the way the Saints fans are cheering, that's a red. Possibly. What's John Moss doing here? Let's can't... watch. Keep an eye on the television screen, Joe, and on the on the pitch as well. Kyle Walker, red card. Now let's see what's happening because this is a mess. If this wasn't Manchester City at the Etihad, it wouldn't be so complicated. He doesn't get the ball. The referee, what's he giving? He's walking across to have a look on his monitor, John Moss. Oh, my goodness me, the drama, the pressure on the referee. 50,000 Manchester City fans booing him. VAR has decided he's got to decide. Now, he's given the decision and the penalty. If it's not a clear and obvious error from himself, we're not getting to see it. What is he going to give? It must be a penalty. Now, what's he given? What's he given? Why are the Sydney fans cheering? Have you seen him give the, 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 make the square? Joe, have you seen him turn it round? I can't believe, I can't Jeez. believe John Mosse. That is unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Lovely play from Romeo. Romeo has oh, been absolutely fantastic been, this today. This second half he's been immense. He's just, he's just uh, shimmied the ball past Kevin De Bruyne which is a rather nice moment. Romeo has been gliding around the pitch like, yeah. like it's a training session today. Yeah, it's been he's fantastic. Been, yeah, I think he's been outstanding. I Walker Peters out on the left wing, gets it back onto his right foot. Little clever ball into Romeo, who has scored against City here. Into Armstrong, shoots, and that's on target. Straight to Edison, no power. But that's a rare shot on target for either side in this second half, and it's Southampton who've had it. Nil-nil still. Southampton is dominating this game uh, at the moment, and uh, well played by Romeo, who brings the ball forward and plays it in, and now the City's coming on the counter-attack. Yeah. Foden takes the corner, out swinger, cleared away by the head of Ward Prowse. They've got to shot the cross coming in, they can't. Tongued up to the back post, Foden nods it back, up in the air it comes off Brozier. And it's not quite cleared. Shot drilled against Livramento. That could have been going in. Boy, De Bruyne now on the right. Saints haven't got this out front of the corner, a throw in or nothing, and they really need to. They're putting themselves under pressure from not clearing their lines. Another cross hung in, and that's what we need from McCarthy yep. to come off his line and gather it, catch oh, it, good throw himself to the floor. Good by the James Ward Prowse there on that shot from uh, was it Sterling or was it Morris? I think it was uh, it was maybe I thought it was Sterling at the time. Yeah, and a very, very good block, yeah. very important block for Gustavo had a good direction on it. Grealish sends it down the line for Sterling. Sterling at the byline, tackled by Ward Prowse. Skips past Romeo. It's brilliant, and then he's blocked by Salisu, who's fantastically oh, positioned, and that saves Southampton there. Corner Manchester City. Salisu, the saviour. I haven't seen them second half, and uh, but they are so good. There's quality, and when they get the well, chance, here comes the outswinger from Foden, right towards the back post, goes over everybody. Walker's got it. Pulls it back to De Bruyne, first That's time offside. cross. Is it offside? It's a save by McCarthy. It's off the ball goes it's in the net and the flag offside. goes it's off. Offside. The flag goes up, it is offside. It's a clear offside on the back post. It's Joe a... Tesson called it early, yeah, the linesman's gone, but City are after something else. How they're complaining, I don't know. It's Diaz a clear complaining. offside on the back post there, Adam. If I'm wrong on this, I'm, uh, yeah. I'm not happy with myself. Pep has his hands on his head, we've got late drama. Here as well, offside decision, should be a free kick for Southampton. I don't know why City are complaining, but there's a VAR check going on for something. Is it for the offside or is it actually for something else that City are complaining about? Mares doesn't look happy. Really, it must be close, Joe. It must be close. This is the worry. Now it is offside after all that. Everybody breathe out in Southampton, breathe out in Hampshire. Edison to De Bruyne from halfway launches a long diagonal crossfield ball. Grealish feeds it to Mares on the left, checks onto his right foot, pulls it back into the penalty area, just missed by Diaz, and Redmond clears up for Brozier, and Brozier can chase this, and now the referee blows his whistle. Of course he does. John Moss at the centre of controversy didn't give Southampton a penalty just after the hour mark when he looked at his monitor for a foul on Armstrong and he didn't send Walker off and Saints didn't get a goal. But boy, oh boy, they got a great point here at the Etihad, a point they deserved.